Hi, everyone. So the next class is our gentle flow class. This was kind of an energetic one, but it was a lot of fun. So I hope you like it. If you're going to play the Spotify playlist, I'm going to do a countdown in just a moment. But we're going to be starting on our backs today. So if you're going to do the Spotify playlist, start your playlist in three, two, one, play. So everybody can just come on to their backs with their soles of their feet together. Maybe one hand on a belly, one hand on a heart. And just begin noticing your body and moving your attention internal. And just recognizing how everything feels. And when you're ready, slowly begin breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. Deepening the inhale and lengthening the exhale. Taking the inhale all the way to the base of the spine. Filling up the belly, the ribs, and the chest before rounding down, exhaling through the chest, through the ribs, and through the belly. Staying with the flow of your breath. Just letting your breath draw your attention inside. One more big inhale. Exhale. On the next inhale, bring your knees up. Pull the knees in towards the chest. Give them a big hug. Maybe rock back and forth slowly, gently. Only if it feels good. Then take the right leg flat down onto the mat, keeping the left knee in, and gently take the left knee across the body, looking over the left fingertip. Just a short, gentle twist, being gracious with your body as we haven't started warming up. Then inhale, comes back to center, bringing the right knee into the chest. Take the left leg out and cross the right knee across the body, taking the right hand out, being gentle with your body, not pushing too far in the twist, but just letting things begin to wake up. Inhale back to neutral, bring the left knee in. And then take both legs out down onto the mat. Coming onto your elbows, taking the hands underneath the hip. Inhale, take the chest up and then drop the head behind, pointing through the toes. And breathe deep into the belly, into the ribs and into the chest. One more big inhale. 
Exhale, pulls the chin forward, pushing into the elbows, into the hands, coming up into a seated position. Adjusting your sitting bones. You can bring your knees in, taking easy pose. And on the next inhale, take the arms up. On the exhale, drop the right hand down, reach through the left fingers and bend over towards the right hand, lengthening through the left side body. Breathing deep down into the belly, into the ribs, and into the chest. One more big inhale. Exhale. Inhale comes up. Take an exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Then exhale, dropping the hand to the left, reaching the right fingers up, slightly pulling the shoulder back, and inhaling deep down to the base of the spine, up into the ribs, and all the way around the heart. One more big inhale, exhale, inhale comes up, bringing the left hand up, take an exhale, inhale, lengthen, exhale, drop the hands down, inhale, brings the arms up, take the hands to prayer, pull them through the center line. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale comes up. Hands to prayer, drawing the hands down to the forehead. Set your intention for your practice. I am centered. I am in harmony with the love that surrounds me. And I am full of kind and caring energy. Breathing deep down into the belly. Exhale, release the hands. Inhale, brings the arms up. Take an exhale, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist to the right, dropping the right hand behind, left hand comes in front, lift through the spine, out through the crown of the head as you look over the right shoulder, breathing deep down into the belly, into the ribs, and into the chest. One more big inhale. Exhale. Inhale back to center. Take an exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Then exhale, twist to the left. Pulling up through the spine, out through the crown of the head, looking over the left shoulder. Breathe deep down into the belly, into the ribs, and into the chest. One more big inhale, exhale, inhale comes up to center, and exhale, drop the hands behind, interlace the fingers, pull the heart up to the sky, breathing deep down, all the way through the torso. One more big inhale. Exhale, release the hands. Inhale, brings the arms up. Exhale, take the hands down to the mat. 
Coming back into your tabletop position. Square the hips and rock your hips side to side if that feels good. And then come to a neutral spine, grounding through the left knee. Inhale the right leg back. Exhale, round the spine, drawing the knee in towards the chest. Inhale, comes open. Exhale, comes forward. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. And on the next inhale, reach the toes all the way to the back of the room. Take the left ankle out to the side and rotate the right hip open. Inhale, the right hand up. And on the exhale, take the right hand down, coming, pulling it between the body and the left arm. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. And exhale, close. Inhale, take the arms up. Drop it down and over the head, reaching for the front of the room, stretching all the way through the toes to the right fingertips. One more big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, the right hand up. Exhale, takes the right hand down and sets the right knee down. Taking the hips side to side. Just for a moment before coming back to a neutral spine. Grounding through the right knee. Inhale the left leg to the back of the room. Exhale, pulls the knee in, curving the spine. Tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. This time, inhale, open and lengthen to the back of the room. Take the right ankle out to the side and inhale the left arm up. On the exhale, bring the left hand down, taking it through the hole you made with the body and the right arm. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. One more time. Inhale, open. Exhale, brings it down. This time, inhale, open. Then drop the hand down in front, spin the pinkies down, the thumb up, reach all the way from the toes out through the fingertips. One more big inhale. Exhale, inhale the left hand up. And exhale, sets it down, squaring the hips, setting the left knee onto the mat. Take a big inhale. And exhale, pushing back to child's pose. Taking a moment here, coming back to your breath, into the belly, into the ribs, and into the chest. One more big inhale. Exhale. On the next inhale, walk the fingers back towards the knees. Exhale, comes up. Inhale, sweeps the arms up. Exhale, drops the hands down behind, interlace the fingers, drop the knuckles to the mat. Inhale, opens the heart to the sky. Exhale, release. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Rock forward, adjust your knees if you need to, then lower all the way down. Taking a pause. Take your forearms down to the mat, grounding through the palms. Lengthen through the legs by reaching your toes to the back of the mat, 
and pushing them into the floor. Then lengthen through the spine as you pull forward and lift the chest up for sphinx. Remembering to breathe into the belly, into the ribs, and into the chest. One more big inhale. Exhale, drop the chest down, grounding the palms, tuck the toes. You can come to tabletop before pushing back, or you can just push up into down dog. Sending the hips to the back of the room. Maybe walking your feet out by taking one knee bent and then the other down. Rotating your shoulders back, keeping the belly button pinned to the spine. Taking another breath here. Exhale. On the next inhale, come up onto your toes. Exhale down onto your knees and back into child's pose. Breathing deep down into the belly, into the ribs, and into the chest. Feeling the breath rise all the way up the spine. And round all the way back down. One more big inhale. Exhale. On the next inhale, coming up, walk the fingers back. Exhale, comes up. Inhale, takes the arms up. Exhale, drop the hands behind, interlace the fingers and take the knuckles towards the mat. Exhale, release the hands. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, drop the hands to the mat. Rock forward. Lower down. Inhale to cobra. And exhale, pushes back to down dog. Breathing deep. Coming to your breath. Into the belly. Into the ribs. And into the chest. One more big inhale. Exhale. Inhale up onto your toes and exhale down onto your knees, pushing back into child's pose. Look up at your thumbs, slide your hands forward, keeping the belly button pulled into the spine, lowering the chest down towards the mat, melting the heart down. And finding this puppy pose, opening the shoulders. One more big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, push into your hands. And push back into child's pose. Inhale, walk your fingers back towards your knees. Exhale, comes up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, drop behind, interlace the fingers, open the heart to the sky. Exhale, release. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Rock forward, lower down. Inhale, pushes to cobra. And exhale, pushes back to down dog, maybe going through tabletop to get there. And just doing what feels good to your body, listening to the areas that need a little bit more time to wake up. And just using your breath to breathe life to all those areas that we are spending this time to finally focus on. On the next inhale, take the right leg up to the back of the room. Then open the right hip. Reaching through the toes. One more big inhale, then exhale, set the right foot down. Inhale the left leg up. Open the left hip and reach through the left side body. One 
One more big inhale. And exhale. Sets everything down. Inhale up onto your toes. Look to your thumbs. Walk forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees and sweep the arms all the way up. Hands to the heart. Inhale, arms up and back. Exhale, bend the knees, sink the hips, coming into chair. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come back to chair. Inhale up. And exhale, chair. Finding your place to hold. Breathing deep down into the belly, into the ribs, and into the chest. Keeping the belly button pinned to the spine, pulling the heart forward, the shoulders down, the fingers up. Keeping the toes light. See if he can sink just a little deeper. One more big inhale. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Then inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Hands to the heart. Inhale, arms up and back, engaging the quads, lifting through the front body. And exhale, hands to the heart. Taking the right foot back, left foot stays. Sweep the arms up. Finding warrior one. Grounding through the outside of the right foot. Square the hips with the front of the mat, engaging the glutes. Pulling the belly button into the spine. Lift all the way through the crown of the head as you sink into the left knee. Then on the next inhale, straighten the left leg, coming up, and exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, and exhale down. Inhale, take the hands up, exhale, drop them behind the back, interlace the fingers, Pull the knuckles down and the heart up. Sinking a little bit more into that knee if it came up. And breathing deep down into the belly, into the ribs, and all the way around the heart. One more big inhale. Exhale, release the hands. Inhale the arms up and back. And exhale to the heart. Step the right foot to meet the left. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Hands to the heart. Inhale, arms up and back. Finding a slight back bend. Then exhale, pull the hands in as you sink your hips. Then your knees coming into chair. Pull the belly button into the spine. Then lengthen before twisting over to the right. Maybe catching the left knee with right knee with the left elbow. And then using your hands to push into each other as you pull the chest forward to create the space, the twist in the torso. Breathing deep. Into the belly, into the ribs, and into the chest. One more big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, center to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Then inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Hands to the heart. Inhale, arms up and back. Then exhale, pull the hands in, sink the hips, bend the knees, coming back into chair. Pull the belly button in, lengthen through the spine, then twist to the left, catching the left knee 
with the right elbow. Breathing deep down into the belly, into the ribs, and into the chest. One more big inhale. Exhale. Inhale back to center to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Then inhale. Sweep the arms up. Hands to your heart. Inhale, arms up and back. And exhale. Back to center. Taking the left foot back, right foot stays. Sweep the arms up on the inhale. Landing in warrior one. Grounding through the left foot. Square the hips. Engaging the glutes. Pulling the belly button to the spine. Lift all the way through the crown of the head. Pull the shoulders down. And then sink into the right knee. Using your breath on the inhale, straighten the right leg. And exhale, sink down. Inhale, comes up. Exhale, down. Inhale, comes up. And exhale, down. Drop the hands behind, interlace the fingers. Inhale, open, pulling the heart up. Sinking deeper down into that knee as it came up. And remembering your breath into the belly, into the ribs, and all the way around the heart. One more big inhale. Exhale, release the hands. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Maybe finding a slight back bend. And exhale, hands to the heart. Step the left foot to meet the right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Then inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Hands to the heart. Right foot steps, left foot stays. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Then taking the right hand around, landing right into warrior two. So the back foot is parallel with the back of the mat. The left knee is externally rotated. Your hips are facing the side of the mat. And your arms are pulling away from each other. Breathing deep down into the belly, into the ribs, and into the chest. One more big inhale. Exhale, then flip the left hand, drop the right. You can take it down to the leg or behind, bringing the left hand up, sinking into the left leg as you stretch on the left side body, reaching the fingertips up and back. One more big inhale. Then on the exhale, take the left elbow down to the left knee and inhale, the right hand up. Take an exhale, inhale, lengthen the right hand. Exhale, take it down in front. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up to pause. Take an exhale. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, drop the hand behind, reaching towards the top of the left thigh. Pull the chest and the heart forward to create space. And then breathe deep down into the belly, into the ribs, and into the chest.
One more big inhale. Exhale, release the hand. Inhale, brings it up. Take an exhale. Then inhale back to warrior two. Square your hips and then step to the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Then inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take the left foot back, right foot stays. Inhale, the arms up. Taking the left arm all the way around and finding way or two. Breathing deep down into the belly, into the ribs, and into the chest. Smiling at your front fingertips, looking to the hope that we have for the future. One more big inhale. Exhale. On the next inhale, flip the right hand, drop the left, bring the right hand up and back, sinking into the right knee, reaching up and back with the fingers so that you feel the stretch on the side body. And breathe deep down into the belly, into the ribs, and into the chest. One more big inhale. Exhale, take the right elbow down to the right knee. And inhale, reaches the left hand up. Exhale, takes it down in front, reaching through the fingers. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, and this time, inhale up to pause. Take an exhale, inhale, lengthen, exhale, drop the hand behind, reaching towards the top of the right thigh, pull the heart forward, and then breathe deep into the belly, into the ribs, and all the way around the heart. One more big inhale. Exhale, releases the hand. Inhale, takes it up. Take an exhale. Then inhale, pushes back up to find warrior two. Square your hips with the front and step forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Then inhale, sweep the arms. All the way up. Hands to your heart. Right foot steps. Left foot stays. Inhale, arms up. Taking the right hand around. Lining right in to warrior two. Straighten the right leg. Sorry, straighten the left leg. Push the left hand forward. And then drop down into triangle. So maybe you're using your shin as an anchor or a block here for your hand, or maybe your hand comes all the way down. But always just going as far as your body is asking and honoring where you are. And breathing deep down into the belly, into the wrist, and into the chest. One more big inhale, then exhale, takes the right hand down, either finding your block or your shin, pull the right heel up off the mat, and then inhale the left hand up. It's okay if you bend into the left knee here, just doing what feels good. Listening to your body. 
and remembering your breath. One more big inhale. Exhale, take the left hand down, bend into the left knee, then step the right foot to meet the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Then inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Hands to the heart. Left foot steps, right foot stays. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Then taking the left hand around, keeping the right hand out, finding warrior two. Then straighten the right leg, push the right hand forward, and drop down, finding triangle. Going as far as your body is asking, listening to your limits, honoring your practice, breathing deep down into the belly, into the ribs and into the chest. One more big inhale. Then exhale the left hand down, pulling the left heel up off the mat. Inhale the right hand up. One more big inhale, then exhale the right hand down, bend into the right knee, and step the left foot to meet the right. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Hands to your heart, right foot steps, keeping the heel lifted. And inhale, take the arms up. Hands to the heart. Inhale the arms up and back. Then pull the elbows out, getting your goalpost arms, opening the heart up to the ceiling, to the sky. Breathe deep down into the belly, into the ribs, and into the chest. On the next inhale, take the arms up. Take an exhale, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist to the left. Opening the arms out wide. Possibly looking over the left fingertips. And thinking positive thoughts. Using your breath as an opportunity to breathe. Gentle compassion to every part of your body. And acceptance. One more big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, arms back up to center. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Taking the hands to blocks or to the mat. Ground through the left foot and take the right foot to match. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms all the way up. Hands to the heart. Left foot steps, keeping the heel lifted. Right foot stays. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale, take them down. Inhale, arms up and back. Then exhale, open the arms, pulling their elbows out, keeping them at a 90 degree angle, opening the heart up to the sky and breathing deep down into the belly, into the ribs and into the chest. One more big inhale. Exhale, inhale, takes the arms up. Take an exhale, inhale, lengthen. Then exhale, rotate to the right, taking the arms out wide and looking 
towards the right hand, maybe. Maybe you use a wall to help you rotate. I mean, up on your heel like this is not necessarily easy. But just being accepting of where you are. And grateful for exactly where you are in your journey. One more big inhale. Exhale. Inhale back up to center. And exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, bend forward, leading with the chest. Taking the hands to the mat or to blocks. And step the left foot to meet the right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up and back. Hands to the heart. Grounding through the feet. And preparing to balance. Grounding all four corners into the mat. You can take your hands to your heart, taking your weight into your left foot, bringing the right knee up, keeping the toes pointed down. You can lead your hands in prayer or you can take them out in front. Separate the palms, place the palms out with the fingers down, lifting through the spine, keeping the belly button pinned. As you breathe in stillness, One more big inhale, bringing the hands to the heart. Take the right foot towards the back of the room. Straightening the leg, flexing the toe, keeping strength and stability throughout the spine. And you can leave your hands in prayer. You can take them to airplane. You can put them out in front. I can't because there's a wall, but that's okay. <laughs> And bringing the hands in, inhaling up, take the knee out in front before externally rotating it, placing it on the calf, maybe up on the thigh or on the ankle, anywhere but the knee. And then opening your branches. Only going as far as you're comfortable, maybe using props to help you balance. One more big inhale, then taking everything back to center. The knee comes back around, and you set everything down. Give yourself a little applause, possibly, before grounding back into your feet. And preparing to do the other side. So taking the right foot into the mat, lengthen through the spine, and shift the weight, lifting the left knee up. Po toes pointed down, taking the hands out. Maybe you make the palms face out, fingers down, pulling the belly button into the spine as you lift all the way through the crown of the head. And smile with every breath, sending a positive thought. One more big inhale, then taking the hands to the heart, shifting the left foot behind, flexing the foot, straightening the leg, and dropping the chest down. Once you're here, you can take your arms out, or maybe find warrior three. One more big inhale, hands come to the heart. Inhale comes back up, pulling the left knee forward before externally rotating it, setting it on the calf, the thigh, anywhere but the knee, and taking the hands up, opening your branches. One more big inhale. Exhale, take the hands down, bring the left knee around, and set it down on the mat. Maybe walking your legs out. 
Wonderful. Then stepping back, hip distance apart, ground the right foot in, step the left foot back. Inhale, sweeps the arms up to warrior one. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, opens up to warrior two. Then straighten the right leg, turn the right toes in. Bringing the toes slightly in more than the heels. Inhale, lengthens through the spine. And then exhale, hinges as the hips as you fold forward, leading with the chest. And drop your hands down to the mat. And take a few inhales coming up on the inhale and letting gravity help you sink down on the exhale. On the next inhale, come up to a flat back. Take the left hand to the middle of your stance and inhale the right hand up. Pulling the left hip back if it shifted. And remembering your breath. One more big inhale, then exhale. Takes the right hand down, inhale to a flat back. Exhale, right hand in the middle of the stance. Inhale, the left hand up, squaring off the hips so that the twist is happening between the hips and the shoulder blades. One more big inhale, exhale, everything back to center. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, hands on the hips. Inhale, all the way up. Turn the right toes out, find your way back to warrior two. Then square your hips. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, come forward. Taking the hands to your mat or a block, ground through the right toes. And then step the left to match. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Then inhale, all the way up. Hands to your heart. Step the right foot back. The left foot stays. Inhale, the arms up. Then exhale, down. Inhale, opens to warrior two. Then straighten the left leg, turn the left toes in. Turning the right toes out, bend down onto the right knee. You can take your hands to your knee if you'd like. Or you can come down further, straightening the left leg, using the ground for support or block. Then inhale comes up, turn the right left toes out, and then bend into the left leg. Using your hands for support on the knee, if you need, maybe taking the hands all the way down, sinking the hips. Inhale comes up to center, exhale fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, hands to the hip, and inhale all the way up. Turning the left toes out, inhale, arms up to warrior two. Take an exhale, hands to the heart, square the hips, finding your warrior one with prayer hands. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold, hands to the mat, ground through the left toes, and then step the right to meet the left. Inhale, halfway lift. 
exhale fold, then inhale, all the way up, hands to your heart, stepping the left foot back, the right foot stays, inhale up, warrior one, hands to the heart, inhale lengthen, exhale comes forward, Take the hands to the mat, then take the left heel off the mat, slowly setting the left knee down. You may need to toe your right foot forward slightly as you sink your hips down forward, keeping your hips square with the mat. Maybe you're using your knee for support or a chair or a wall to help you sink down. But only going as far as you're comfortable, grounding through the inside of the right foot so that your knee doesn't go out to the side. One more big inhale. On the exhale, sink the hips back and pull the right leg straight, pulling the toes back, keeping the foot flexed. Keep the belly button pinned as you reach forward with the chest for the fold. Again, you could be using blocks here to make this more accessible. One more big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rock forward. And on the Exhale, pull the right foot back so that you find yourself into a tabletop position. Tuck your toes, push your hips to the back of the room, finding down dog. On the next inhale, take the right foot up, bend the knee, flex the foot, and pull the heel behind, opening across the right side body. One more big inhale, then exhale, take the right foot down. Inhale up onto your toes, look to your thumbs, and walk forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweeps the arms all the way up. Hands to your heart. Right foot steps, left foot stays. Inhale, comes up, finding warrior one, hands to your heart, inhale, lengthen, then exhale, lead with the chest coming forward, taking the hands either to blocks or the mat, pull the right heel up, then slowly set the right knee down. You can toe your left foot forward if you need to because you would like your knee to be either stacked above or slightly behind your ankle. Then keeping your hips square, you can sink down. Again, using a wall or a chair or blocks, anything you need to help you find release in the pose. Grounding through the inside of the left foot so that the knee is staying even. And using your breath deep down into the base of the spine. One more big inhale. Exhale, send the hips back, straightening the left leg, keeping the belly button pinned to the spine as you fold forward. Flexing the left toes, the left foot. And breathing deep all the way to the base of the spine. Then all the way up the back.
One more big inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rocks forward, grounding the hands. Pull the left foot back, coming into your tabletop position. Tuck the toes under, push into the palms and send the hips to the back of the room. Finding down dog. Then ground through the right foot, pull the left foot up on the inhale, bend the knee, flex the foot, and pull the heel behind, opening across the left side body. One more big inhale, then exhale, back to center. Inhale up onto your toes. Exhale down onto your knees, walking your knees forward, cross your ankles, and then sit down onto your mat, taking your feet out in front, adjusting your sitting bones. Pull the belly button in as you lengthen through the spine on the inhale, and fold forward on the exhale. Maybe you grab a hold of your calves, your ankles, Maybe you have a strap here to help you fold more properly. One more big inhale, exhale, inhale comes up, taking your hands next to your hips, maybe scoot your hips down, and then come into a spine position. Taking the right ankle on the left knee, you can stay here gently pushing into the right leg. Or if you want more, you can bring the left knee in, grabbing behind the thigh, keeping both feet flexed, or maybe around the shin. Remembering your breath and letting your breath flow all the way down into these areas that we're waking up into these areas that need a little love and compassion and attention. One more big inhale, then take the left foot down to the mat, cross the right leg over the left, take the arms out to a T. You can pick your hips up and slide them to the right as you drop both knees to the left, looking over the right fingertips. On the next inhale, coming up to neutral, squaring your hips and crossing your legs. 
taking the left ankle on top of the right knee. You can stay here pushing into the left leg, or you can bring the right knee in, keeping both feet flexed, holding behind the thigh, maybe around the shin. Just listening to your body, knowing that wherever you are, as far as it goes, is fine and it's perfectly okay. Using your breath deep down. Maybe breathing all the way into your hips. Allowing your breath to massage into those areas that are tight. And gently coax them into releasing. One more big inhale. And set the right foot down. Cross the left leg all the way over and take the arms out to a T. Maybe you shift your hips over to the left slightly as you drop the knees down to the right, looking over the left fingertips. Keeping the left shoulder grounded if you can. And allowing your breath to flow all the way down through the spine as much as possible. And on the next inhale, coming up to center, adjusting your hips and crossing your ankle, pulling both knees into the chest and giving them one big hug, maybe rocking back and forth, gently on the spine if it feels good. Before taking both legs out to the corners of the mat, <laughs> taking your palms up and preparing for savasana. Allowing your breath to return to normal. So you're breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Imagine that your breath is like a warm breeze. And with every inhale, that breeze surrounds all of the areas of your body where you hold tension. And with every exhale, all the tension is released so that everything feels heavy and sinks down into the ground. Breathe into your toes, into your feet, into your ankles, and into your calves. And let everything dissolve. So all that's left is heavy and sink deep down into the mat. Breathe into your shins, into your knees, into your quads and into your hamstrings. 
and let everything evaporate. So all that's left is heavy. And sink deep down into the ground. Breathe into your inner thighs, into your hips, into your glutes, into your lower back, and your lower abdomen. And let everything evaporate. So all that's left is heavy. And sink deep down into the ground. Next, breathe into your belly. Into your ribs. And all the way around your heart. And let everything dissolve. So all that's left is heavy. And sink deep down into the ground. Next, breathe up your back into your shoulders, into your upper arm, your forearm, your wrist, into your fingertips. Let everything dissolve. So all that's left is heavy. And sink deep down into the ground. Breathe up your neck around your head, into your eyebrows, into your cheeks, and into your jaw. And let everything evaporate so all that's left is heavy and sinking deep down into the ground. Focus on your breath and allow yourself to just breathe.
And when you're ready, slowly begin wiggling your fingers, wiggling your toes, and bringing life back into your body. You can slowly slide your feet in, placing them on the mat. Before rolling over to your preferred side and taking a moment before finding your way up to a sitting position. And one more time, inhale your arms up. To prayer, pull the hands down and show gratitude for your practice and gratitude for your body, for everything that it performed. And anything else that you can focus gratitude toward. Practicing gratitude is one of the easiest ways to bring a little joy into your life. To just be grateful for the things that you have and recognize all the things around you that are worth your appreciation. So with one more inhale, together we say, Namaste.